God bless each one of you. Today we will be talking about one saved, always saved. One thing that supports this, and they always believe that once when you come to Christ and repent or receive or accept Christ as the Lord, that they cannot lose their salvation, that they can never be, you know, lost, that they're saved no matter what they do afterwards. One thing that they support from this is John chapter 10, verse 27, verse 28, same. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never die. No one can snatch them away from me. Amen. Okay, so you can see how they trust the word. Now, no, now listen, it does say, I give them eternal life, and they shall never die. No one can snatch them away from me. But in verse 27, there's a condition, though, if you listen. My sheep listen to my voice. They listen to the voice of the Lord. All right, listen, listen. They listen to my voice. I know them. When we have a relationship with the Lord, He knows us. When we have a relationship with the Lord, listen. And they follow me. They follow the Lord. Only those who follow the Lord and have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, we will not perish. We receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. But if we keep living a sinful life, after knowing who Jesus Christ is, or accepting him, or repenting of your sins, and then after that, living the same life, you have not truly converted your life to Christ. Now, if you want to truly convert your life to Christ, I'm telling you, this is what the word says. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. And how Christ came to the world to die for our sins. He came to show us how to walk in the Lord. And how he's telling us, that he is the bread of life. He is the water of life. He is the only way. In John, it says how Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. By following Jesus Christ and by repenting of our sins and following Jesus Christ, not the world, following Jesus Christ and having a relationship with him, we are saved by what Christ did, not what the law did for us. Only by Christ we are saved. And brothers and sisters, the only way we are saved is by grace and faith, not by our works. God bless each one of you, and remember, Jesus loves you. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is now.